ワールドキングカンジオン YouTube。Hey guys, well, King Kanji here, and I bet some of you were surprised to see Dokkan content back on my channel after so long, because I haven't actually done one since I did my face reveal a couple years ago now.、Uh, oh, wow, that's going back a bit. But anyway, the whole reason that I stopped doing them in the first place is because so many other YouTubers were doing Dokkan content, and I was kind of losing the taste for it because it was so oversaturated. But now the fact that the people are splitting off from Dokkan and getting into stuff like Dragon Ball Legends or just simply not covering Dokkan as much. I have had time to get a lot better at this game anyway. So it's really given me a lot of time to, you know, own my skills and then be able to help some people with it because I realized I was getting so much better at it when people were specifically coming to me on Twitter. My friends、uh, also play this game in real life. Yes,、yeah, surprising. Kanji has friends in real life. But anyway. People were coming to me for advice and I was able to help it, and then they were getting back to me, sort of going, Oh, thanks for your help, it was really useful. And then they've kept coming back to me, and I started thinking to myself, How, how about I just started helping more people on YouTube and stuff like that? So when you guys have got comments, you've got questions that you can't ask some of the bigger YouTubers due to the fact that they've got so many other people asking them questions, or, you know, How do I do this? or Help me with this team, and blah, 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 because they can't do it because they've got so many other people asking them. It makes it better when there are smaller channels covering this content. Anyway, I have put many a toilet hours into this game, many a sleepless nights into this game, many a times when girlfriend is watching television and I don't want to watch what they're watching. But anyway, some of you are going to be annoyed when you can't do things such as doing the boss levels or can't do certain events because you don't have the right cards. Typically, that's what this game is about. I can't necessarily always promise to help you with all these things because it really just depends on what characters you've got at the time. It depends on what characters I've got. Which help me do the events. It depends what characters I'm going to pull in future to what I do. But I also don't mind because I have a lot of characters here, as you'll probably be able to see as I go down this list. Most of them I have got and I keep. If I get an SSR, I very rarely feed it to Barber or even feed it back to another one. I pulled SS3 Broly earlier on when I was doing the Goku Black summons, and annoyingly, I already have SS3 Broly. So I've had to put him in the,、uh, the hidden potential stuff, which I'm not going to lie. As soon as you open up another route in it, I feel like it was a wasted card because it just disappears and you never see it again. At least when you put it in a super attack, you get this little, this little, this little thing go up. In the numbers, so you know, you're like, oh, I remember that Broly. He went in there. Sadly, I don't really like Broly, so he kind of stays down there, and I don't really do kind of awaken him. I like this Broly, but yeah. As you guys can probably imagine, these things all take a lot of time to do, but if you guys want me to use certain cards that you've seen that I've got in my team, and you want me to try and use them to do different events and things like that, so that you can see if it's possible with some of your cards, or if you. Any sort of.、Um, Leader skills and passive skills that you see, and you kind of think, right, I, I need to get somebody that can do something like that. There's a lot of free to play cards you can get out there that will actually do what some of these bigger cards do. Obviously, a lot of it is down to, charge, to chance on, like, you know, the new Vegitos and stuff like that.、Um, The, the tech Vegito is going to be so useful, and in fact, that's probably what I'm going to use to do this because I'm going to have a go at doing.、Um, one of the boss events right now. I'm going to see if we can do it because I'm not going to lie, I still haven't done them all. I got on the boss event, I think, because、uh, I've done this one, I've done this one, I've done this one. I haven't done this one, but I, I got to、uh, merge the Masu and then I died, which was infuriating, especially because it was because I made a mistake. It wasn't because I, I genuinely got beaten, it was because I accidentally just,、uh, you know, when you're sort of half paying attention, like this kind of thing. I was playing this at night, so I'd done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I got to number thirteen, which takes a lot of time. And I was dropping asleep. Oh man. And I just happened to move the wrong counter in there. I think I had,、um, I accidentally made. SS4 Vegeta take a hit from Tech Zamasu and it floored me. It absolutely battered me and I was straight back to the back of the line, sort of thing. And I just didn't have the heart to do it again. So now that I've got that out of the way, let's see if we can do this. Because I'd really like to do this. And then if I manage to do it, I'll do the summons at the end of the video as well. I might actually make it a separate video or whatever. But, you know, it'd be nice if we can do that. And I know you guys like seeing summon videos and stuff. So, I mean, so do I. It's nice either seeing people fail or seeing people do very well. But anyway, let's have a look at this. So, who are we going to take? There as he is. Rose. But he's got Super Attack 1 out of 10. I'm seeing as I'm going to be doing all of these bosses. Could really use somebody who's full. Yeah, there we go. So that's, that's going to help. 
I've got a pretty good uh, good rainbow team here. Um, um, I'm thinking about subbing Gohan here because he's got the uh, defense plus 30 for super class allies, which is great. And I've also got the um, attack and defense raised from this trunks. They're both really useful seeing the fact that I've, I haven't got the tech uh, Vegito blue. I've got the strength for Vegito blue. So because of that, he only gives it up to 70% for super class allies, which is great. But it's not great enough when realistically I'd, <laughs> I'd like the tech Vegito. So... I think what we may do is to help SS4 Gogeta's link skills. I might drop Gohan. Because I need a rainbow team for Tech Vegito skills to activate. So I think what I'll probably do, I could take. I could take you. I could take you. Attack and defense 30% for all allies. That is useful. But I think I'm going to, because you are also fusion, so that would help. But the GT is key plus two. Let, let's have a, let's compare the stats slightly, because my my SS4 Vegeta is much better. I'm not going to lie. That's straight off the bat. I mean, he's got 10 out of 10 super attack. He makes much more sense. But he does get allies attack 25% for one turn when you fire off his big bang attack. And he also has a 30% plus for each ally. Fused fighter... Key plus two. Okay, no, so it's going to pretty much be the same. So I may as well bring Vegeta for that. Okay. All right, let's do this. Okay, so first on the list, we've got Strength SS4 Goku, who's also got his agile little buddy here. He looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. I really hate GT's kid Goku. It just uh, winds me up. All right, okay. He doesn't seem to... Oh, he does get a key boost from that. Okay. Fine. I suppose, yeah, we'll do it this way then. We'll do it this way. Okay, so... Okay, so the key thing to doing in these boss events is realistically trying to make your health and items last as long as possible. Due to the fact that, of course, you do actually regain health from picking up the appropriate colored key spheres when you're doing your missions, it's not too hard to hang on to health. Um, it is down to luck because it depends which character, of course, gets hit by what super attack and stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, it's useful just to kind of know that you just want to get your health back. So, Man, it's, you know when you play something like this and you realize you can just see your money flashing before your eyes as you see all these characters you've got? <laughs> okay. Right, so ideally what I want to do here... Okay, well, he gets a much bigger boost. Yeah, all right. I know I know. Strength for Geo Blue is going to... Oh, man, he hasn't got enough key to do that. I don't really want to waste that on that. That'll get him enough. That'll get him enough. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, man. So, of course, by now, I'm sure you guys are aware that if you pick an appropriate colored key sphere for your character, it gives you two of that key. And if you get a rainbow sphere, it's like one key. Um, and... Same goes for if it's a non-colored sphere or something like that. But you don't gain health back if you don't have the right appropriate color for your character. So, you know, it can get quite messy in this situation for a boss battle because, of course, you just want to fire off as many super attacks as possible. But sometimes you've got to think more strategically than that. And you've got to try and get as many health back as you can do because that's going to get you further in it than attacking. Okay, so, so far so good. We're not taking too much damage here. Um, oh man, this is typical because I don't want Trunks to take any of the flack on this because he's only got 16,000 defense. Um, right. It's not like either of these two guys have got enough to try and beat him on that. I don't want to, oh man, I don't want to use a Barbar Ghost so early on. Oh, okay. Right. But I need, I could use the fusion... Yeah, I need the fusion link skills. Okay. Okay, we're just going to have to take it on good faith that we'll be able to pull this off without this later on. So, I'm annoyed. I didn't want to have to use an item in the first first mission or so. So, let's put him at the back because I don't really want to come back. Obviously, the order of which you put them in is really, appro uh, is really important as well. Whoever goes first is going to come back on the turn after next one. 
second one, uh, turn off the next one if they've got enough in rotation, and this one will come back in like three turns. So, it's like one turn, two turn, three turn, pretty much. He may come back on the same turn as this one, it just depends on what rotation you've got. So here we go, let's try this. Oh man, I'm so annoyed I've had to do this straight away, but... Uh, my Gogeta doesn't do, like, mass damage, because I haven't got uh, his super attack maxed out yet, so... Neither one of them, for that matter. But the nice thing about those two particular cards is they're still really good, even if you don't have max super attack. Except Trunks! Trunks I've only brought along for the passive skill for everybody else. Oh man, that takes a hit. I thought the fusion would have helped that, but it really doesn't, does it? Oh, it helps there. Uh, no, I... Oh man. Yeah, okay, we'll, ju we'll just have to do it this way then, fine. Have to, uh, I don't like using int on him, it's no good, but still. Okay, so that will get him enough, this will get you enough. So, uh, my Vegito, my, uh, my AGL Vegito has actually got, um, all parts unlocked on him, so he's quite the opposite of some of my other cards that have got, like, one super attack and all this kind of stuff. He's got 10 out of 10 and all roots unlocked, 100% maxed out, so... That's why he's doing so much impressive damage in comparison to the others. Vegeta, well, SS4 Vegeta is pretty good as well. He's 10 out of 10, so. Okay, so there we go. So there's, there's Goku down. That was pretty harmless. Only used one item. Wish I hadn't used one item, but still. Beggars can't be chosen. Now I'm going to have to fight GT Gogeta. Okay. Uh, well, they're all fusion fellows, so that's not too bad. For some reason, whatever link skills activating there, that makes that better, so let's do it that way. Um, who's physical one? Okay, alright. So initially, like, to be honest, the SS4 events aren't that difficult. <laughs> I think there's a reason there at the very beginning. When you think about it, they're actually not too bad. Gogeta, you legend! I love you! There we go. So, okay, so this is going pretty damn well, to be honest. That's just... I don't want to jinx it. Don't... <laughs> I'm not jinxing it. Come on. Right, okay. Well, here's Trunks back again. Um... If they don't fire off a super attack, Vegito would be Vegito would be better at taking that. Let's risk it. Go on, let's risk it. Let's risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Uh, just to get the attack up again. I'll see you in three turns, chunks. So. He's not going to beat him, he's not going to beat him, even if I get criticals on all these attacks, he won't beat him, but... Oh, that's fantastic. See, they didn't use his, uh, his finisher on me, so that's okay. Remember, if you're ever doing all routes and locked on uh, Vegito AGL, just make sure you're doing uh, the crit damage, because the crit damage is so useful. Because, of course, it applies to his counterattacks as well. Some people didn't realize that. They only thought it applied to his super attack, but it does apply to his counterattacks, as you just witnessed for yourselves. Um, okay. Who's got the best defense? Surprisingly, him. All right. I see it. The path is clear. Right. So as you can see, I'm not getting much, but I am getting a little bit of health back with each turn. And considering the fact I'm almost at the end of the uh, the second fight in this boss thing, which only leaves me with three to go, if I can get this far, if I don't use an item in this event, sorry, if I don't use an item in this fight, that should help me in the next three, at least because then I've got like, you know, five items to use.
The one I've usually struggled on if I've tried this event before has been the Tech Goku one, simply because I haven't been able to uh, have enough items left. Uh, those stun things, I should have kept one of the stun things for... I should have kept both of the stunners for that event, because Goku, you have to beat him in so many hits, which is very annoying. I was talking over that, I didn't even realise I got hit by that, but it's fine. It is not a problem. Okay, so I've got Dokkan as well. It's annoying that I didn't get this in the next round, because it would have been more useful then, but still. Oh, the slowest... Oh, I messed it up! <laughs> I was making a joke and I cocked it up. Well, it serves me right! Boom! Okay, finally now. Vegeta, SS4, rears his head. This is going to be useful due to the fact that I have... Um, the Vegeta blue, Vegito blue. I keep saying that today. I'm so tired. Right. Ah, oh, that was a waste. Never mind. Yeah, I really wish that the new Vegito blue, the tech one, actually had. Uh, the counter-attack feature, but then he'd be so OP, so I can see why he doesn't. And neither does the LR Vegito STR. I'm guessing I got all my health back from the Dokkan Smash, I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so it's highly doubtful that uh, SS4 Vegeta will actually survive this round, so he's most likely going to perish. So hopefully we've done it without using an item. My Vegito AGL is uh, so useful to bring along. Like, if you guys can get him, he usually gets, like, given out at these uh, events at the moment, like the, uh, the Dokkan festivals and stuff like that. Nine times out of ten, you'll get him when you don't want him. I can't believe you actually got me with that. It's so irritating. So many of my other characters probably would have evaded that move, but never mind. Okay. Well, yeah, I didn't use an item, but I may have to use one soon if I don't get my, my energy back from fighting cooler, so... That's such an annoying one now. Okay, so that... Right. Oh man, no, his defense is so much better. Alright, let's just do that. He's got his ultimate super attack as well. That was lucky. I didn't actually think I was going to get that from that. Um, yeah, let's do that way then. Okay, you can have that, and then you can have that. Yeah, that was the right way around to do. Okay, let's see. If you guys haven't got the uh, LR Vegito Blue from the... Because uh, he's free to play, so as long as you've got enough cards. Uh, you need, like, s at least six Fierce Battle cards. Um, a lot. He is a very demanding LR to get, because you need to have Dokkan Awaken so many cards to get that working. But if you've got the time, you've got the cards, I definitely recommend getting him. He's a fantastic unit to bring along. <laughs> Overkill. Overkill. Right, okay. So that should have got me a bit, marginal bit of health back. Right. For whatever reason, Trunks doesn't even link up with Vegeta, even though they're the father and son. Okay, let's... What are the key spheres are around there? Yeah, I suppose it makes sense to do it this way then. Okay. Actually, it makes sense to do that, because at least I get the counter-attack features on that, then. Um, yeah, there you go. Try it that way. I, I'm, with a bit of luck, we'll defeat him before he even fires off a super attack, so... 
Trunks isn't going to do a whole lot of damage. Never was going to do a whole lot. Oh my god, no! Right. Okay, we're just going to hope that Salza, or Thouser, or whatever his name is in this game, Japanese transfer. No! Oh god, okay. Oh, nuggets. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How annoying. Right. Okay, well, at least I'm in the third one, so that's halfway. That could have gone a lot worse, I suppose. I'm going to trust that you're not going to fire off another super attack straight away, so... He's certainly not going to get another attack in after this round. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, well that was mainly just for getting health back at the end there. So at least you have an incentive for actually trying to get their super attacks built up if you know that they're not going to survive the next round. Other than the fact the key spheres reshuffle at the end, so... Okay. Um, this is the best way around I can do it, because otherwise he's going to take the front. Unless I make him so powerfully... I don't have any green key spheres though. I could do it this way. And you may tank some of the attacks. What are the chances? And if he fires off a super attack, SS4 Vegeta may actually move out of the way. He also may not, and I may take it to the face. Yeah, uh, let's try it. Let's risk it. Okay, let's do... Okay, that's, that went ideally. Right, okay. He took it to the face of oh, Vegeta. What's even the point of having that passive skill if you never use it? You better tank his other attacks. Yeah, sort of. Okay. Well, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to look at the friend name, but thank you for your amazing Vegito Blue. You really saved me there. Okay. Let's do it this way. Actually, was he getting... No, he wasn't any better off that way. Was he better off that way? He's better off that way. Okay. We just gotta hope he doesn't try and fire off a super attack against Vegito. Vegito probably could withstand it, but I don't wanna take the, the chance with it, really. And Gogeta's gonna get suffered if we don't. Oh, we're not gonna beat him though at this point, are we? Oh man, I may have made a mistake here. I suppose there's always a chance that Gogeta at the end could evade some of his moves, but. Okay. Well, this isn't ideal. Oh, no. Okay, well, alright, I'm glad he did it to you. But I just gotta hope that Gogeta will move. The nice thing about Ink Gogeta and the STR Gogeta is attacks are effective against all types, but. Okay. Oh man, this is far from ideal. I'm gonna have to use another Dende. Okay. It's all about pacing out your item usage, which is why I'm so annoyed. Some of you may be thinking, why am I so annoyed? But. <coughs> okay, let's try this then. I'm not too worried about the rest of this of this particular fight. Uh, I'm sure Gogeta will kill him, but um, it's just annoying that I had to use those items, you know. Yeah. Okay. Right. So now we're on to the this tough one. Oh no! You know what? I did defeat Tech Goku before in this. And um, the thing that got me, though, was the fact that Margin Boo in this last one, the Kid Boo one, he um, constantly fires off super attacks. Which makes it increasingly more... Okay. 
which makes it increasingly more difficult to try and uh, st strategize against, but... Ugh, oh, man, right. Well, this should power up his attacks anyway, so... The only person going to do any real damage here is uh, Vegeta, right? Vegeta AGL. So used to saying Vegeta. <laughs> right. I'm also uh, afraid. I'm trying to speed this video up as much as I can because I know that... Uh, I'm taking up a lot of time to do this event, but if I can get it done quickly, hopefully you guys will appreciate seeing it done. I'm actually recording this while everyone's at KamehaCon, so um, I know for a fact that a lot of people are going to be playing this game a lot over the duration of that, uh, this weekend. Oh, nuts. Okay. Oh man, I don't want to use the ghost. Look, as long as I don't get hit by super attack, Vegito should be okay. I mean, he's gonna doke on, so that's that's useful. I could have potentially given us a super attack to that trunks, but I didn't really think it was necessary. Okay. Okay, so I didn't mess it up that time. I mess these up at such an alarming rate, it's unreal. My hand-eye coordination is terrible. Which is ironic, because I play guitar, so you'd have thought it was actually be okay, but no. Okay, that was ideal. That's even more ideal, thank you. Okay, whoever this Vegito Blue belongs to, I love you, thank you. Useful as anything. God damn. I really need this card. You suck. I hate you. <laughs> no. Okay. Ready? Okay. This is, you know, overkill, really, but. Okay, right. Now we've got the physical round. Let's get physical! Let's not. Oh! Damn it! Why do you lose so much? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this is not useful. Okay, I could do it this way. But then that means I'm not going to see them for a while. Let's risk it, you know. This ultimately will be the best way I can possibly play this round. I just didn't necessarily want Gogeta to have to go first. Because if he takes a flak of a super attack, then he's... Okay, All right. You wouldn't believe this, but Gogeta can apparently evade sometimes. I've given him the hidden potential thing, so he should do it, but... Right. Okay, so that was a relatively decent round. I didn't suffer too much in that, so... Okay, there's not a whole lot I can do here. I don't really think I need to. I'm pretty sure v Vegito Blue will kill him, so... <laughs> you tried. Okay. Man, just thanks for thrusting that Goku with my face. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Not ideal. 
Right, so he is the one that I've saved that ghost usher for, but what's annoying though is thinking about that Margin Boo level, if I get past this one, I'm going to need to slow down his super attack onslaught, so... Oh, man, okay. Well, I'll save it in case I need it. I just don't want Vegeta SS4 to get blasted at the back there. I'll give him enough to give him a super attack, but I won't give him that long chain. Man, he does a lot of damage, this guy. Okay, thank you. Like, again, I could have used the extra super attack. I just need to get this guy beaten as quickly as possible. Gogeta helps. Thank you. Oh, man. I was kind of hoping one of those numbers would have popped up at the end there for Vegeta, but he wasn't lucky enough for that. Oh, he tanked it! What a beast! Right, okay. Um. Oh, oh God. Oh, he's useful for getting the crits, but he's got, like, four attacks there. He's got chance of hitting... Four chances of hitting a super attack on Vegito. Contrary to popular belief, he will fire off a super attack. Not it, not only when he gets to uh, zero in his countdown. Oh man! But he's got three other chances after. He's got four other chances afterwards, and one of them is going to be a count. It's not worth it. Come on, I'll I'll wimp out. I'll wuss out on it. <clears throat> It isn't worth losing after we've got this far just because of a thing. Because there's a chance that I'll actually beat them in this round anyway, so. Oh, man. Vegito. Vegito. Ah, oh, I stopped doing it. Okay, well, I was expecting him to do more damage than he did, so that was kind of unfortunate. Oh, Vegito Blue. Thank you. Free LR in the game. Remember, folks, go and get him. Okay, so the last round. The last round. And I've got two health restores, and I've got... Right, the uh, attack and defense 20% ups. So I can only use one of those each three every three rounds, so I may as well... Use one of them now, try and get it over and done with. Excuse me. Right. Okay. Come on. Oh, not ideal. Okay, well, you've had the attack up as, as well as the item, so that should help. Goji may kill him, but he is the opposite type. Okay, good. Thank you, Goji. If I can, I really need to save those healing items for the, the uh, Senzu beans to the very end. Um, yeah, go on. This makes far more sense, doesn't it? Okay, let's do it that way. Right, he may not survive this round, so... Nice, okay, making every hit count. Come on, guys, it's so close, I can taste that 30 dragon stones. <laughs> he said. Okay. I think he starts firing off the super attacks from here, so... I'm gonna 
wimp out here and use that straight away. It was going up. I saw the numbers change, I just wanted to make sure they were changing in the right direction. Okay, let's see what you can do. With a bit of luck, if he fires a super attack at Gogeta SS4, he might move out of the way. Please move and counterattack. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Right, take him down. Come on, you got it. <laughs> yeah, so one more round. But this is where it counts. Because the only physical I have is that crap trunks. And he's turning crap to candy. No fair. Okay. Okay. Alright, that's not good. But that still gives him the super attack. Let's do that. He'll still get the super attack as well, won't he? Okay. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Almost forgot to do that. I want to save the tech spheres for uh, Gogeta and Vegito. Come on. Oh man, my heart's beating right now. <laughs> yes, critical. That's what we need. Man, he's... Alright. He's gone easy on the super attacks. So far. Touch wood. Don't... Why would I say that? Why would I say that out loud? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I can... Sixty thousand. I can live with sixty thousand. Man, I'm half tempted to use a Senzu bean just to be goddamn certain. Oh, of course, because he's int. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh man. All right. I saw it. Not taking the risk. Watch me. Watch him survive this round somehow, and then go on and <laughs> wish that I hadn't used it. Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm certain that Vegeta can finish it. Come on. Yes! There we go! All done! And this is where it scares you a little bit by taking... Okay, well the other one took you to another spot first, which made it look like I had another villain to fight. But, my god, guys, okay, caught on film, I did it. So, I can't be as crap as I used to think I was at this game. Man. Whew. Yep, mission complete. Abra. Abra. Thank you so goddamn much for your Vegito. He helped so much. I would give him a medal if I could, but to be honest, I really can't be asked. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm too popular. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even believe that, and I said that out loud. Right. Let's accept this gracious reward. It's still not enough to get <laughs> multi summon though. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, it's not enough to get a multi summon. Never mind. We'll see. Alright guys, well thank you for watching this video. I know it was a long one, but hopefully if you've ever had any trouble with the boss events, I don't know whether this will have helped you at all. I don't know if you'll have any of these cards. I don't know if the way that I play will inspire you at all. But trust me, it's the best way you can do this. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Dokkan content. Subscribe and check out all my other content, such as the Fusion Challenge, etc. And my collaborations with other YouTubers on the channel. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!